Hi guys, welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about the new Windows 11 24H2 Enterprise LTSC edition, which basically stands for Windows 11 Enterprise Long Time Support. Maybe some of you know that even in Windows 7, Windows 10, we had these evaluation editions of Windows with the license valid for 90 days, which you can extend to another 90 days up to three times. So in total, you may have your Windows 11 operating system installed for about a year before needing a license. Well, what stands out in Windows 11 Enterprise LTSC edition is basically the fact that it is an operating system that it has no bloatware. You don't have any of the pre-installed applications. You don't have Microsoft Store. You don't have Windows Copilot. You barely have any AI things. And Windows is overall very, very fast. As far as I know, you don't even have widgets. So if you're looking for a Windows 11 operating system that doesn't have any bloatware, it's really simple to use, really simple to install, and it has very nice performance. You can go for Windows 11 Enterprise, but of course you have to keep in mind that without a Windows 11 Enterprise license, you're going to need to reinstall Windows after about a year. This video is sponsored by Private Internet Access, a virtual private network where VPN for shorts hides your IP address and safeguards your internet connection through an encrypted tunnel. Streaming services such as Netflix have different library options based on where you are located. Using Private Internet Access, you will be able to watch those shows or movies that are not available in your current location. Make sure to check out Private Internet Access in the links from the description below for a great deal. 83% percent discount and four months free. Now let's start from the beginning. Of course, in the article below, you're going to have all the web pages and all the information that I show you in this video. First of all, you're going to have a link to an article that basically allows you to see everything that you need to know about Windows 11 Enterprise version 24H2, accessibility, applications, security, and of course, many more things. Also information related to servicing, updates, and more. Now, if you want to get Windows 11 Enterprise LTSC, just go into the official Microsoft website. We're going to have this in the article below as well. So go ahead and access that if you want. You have here at the bottom, download Windows 11 Enterprise, and you're going to have to select your edition. So you have the edition for ARM64 devices or X64 or AMD64. You click on it, and as easy as that, you're going to be able to get Windows 11 Enterprise long time support. Now, the installation process is very similar to the basic Windows 11 24 installation, but I think it is faster because, of course, you don't install as many things and as many applications. One thing that I like about the installation process, and you're going to see it, is that you can install this version with a local account. When you get to that page where it says to connect with the Microsoft account, just select domain join instead, enter your name, and you're going to be able to install Windows 11 Enterprise 24H2 with a local account. After you go through some of the basic OOB section, you're going to be able to see the new Windows 11 24H2 install page, which basically will install the latest updates, and then you're going to be good to go inside your operating system. Now let's look at the operating system a bit, and let's see what we have here. As you can see, we have an almost empty taskbar with no widgets, no Copilot, no anything like that, no Microsoft Store. The default browser, I must say, is the Microsoft Edge browser, but of course, you can always install another browser if you want. Now, if we open up the Start menu, you may have a surprise because, as you can see, the Start menu is empty. You don't have anything in the Start menu, no pinned apps, no recommended apps, only the Get Started app is recommended. But if we even go to Start Settings, then go to More Recommendations or anything like that, we're going to notice that only this app is recommended, and you can just remove it from the list in your going to have a completely empty start menu. I think I like this a lot because you can easily pin your favorite apps here so you won't have any pre-pinned apps by Windows. And of course, because we don't have any blockware, any services running, AI or stuff like that, the resource consumption is really, really good. I remember I was using Windows 10 Enterprise a few years ago and it was the best operating system at least for me. Right now, because of course I'm trying to showcase all the newest features of Windows 11, I have to use the normal Windows 11 version, but if I were to have have maybe a secondary PC, a gaming PC or something like that, this is the version that I would go for. Also, as you can see, it takes up very, very little space. The ISO itself is about four gigabytes. And as you can see, it takes about nine gigabytes of storage to have this installed. I think that is great. And of course, you have all the other features such as the file explorer with tabs, the new task manager and so on. So I think it is all around the perfect version of Windows 11 that a lot of users waited for a long time. Also, if we're going into accounts in the settings, app, we're going to notice that I'm using a local account as admin. So I think this is great. You don't need to use a Microsoft account on this version of Windows 11. And as you can see, you're still getting updates. You can do all the latest updates. For example, I get the latest cumulative update for Windows 11 version 24H2. And of course, if we're searching for Copilot or anything like that, we don't have Copilot. And as I've stated at the beginning, we don't even have the Microsoft Store. Of course, those apps can be manually installed. But if you install this version of Windows, I strongly recommend against it because you should use all your 
apps that you are used to and not load up any plotware inside your operating system. Also, one thing that I may notice is that maybe the wallpaper for Windows 11 Enterprise is a bit different. I find it to be more on the purple side, but maybe that is just me. Please let me know below in the comments. But of course, this is pretty much all there is to it to Windows 11 24 H2 Enterprise, in my opinion, the best version of Windows 11 for gamers, for people who don't want a lot of resources taken from their system, and for people that don't want to deal with any plotware or AI stuff inside their operating system. Of course, if I forgot to state anything else, please let me know below in the comments, and we're gonna update the article below if any important info has to be added. So don't forget that in the article below, you have all the necessary information, the Microsoft website where you can get Windows 11 Enterprise, and so on. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below, and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. Ozzy Mario from TechBase, until next time, have a nice day.